This month marks 70 years for Kettleland TV, and we are marking the occasion by looking back at the past seven decades. We are tremendously proud of our 70-year history. So, what's next? In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Dan Santello looks forward to our next decade and the decade after that. Kellowland Media Group already had a foundation when every one of its current employees started to work here. Legacy implies responsibility. Well, I think a lot of us always feel the responsibility to not mess it up. I know when I came here, whether it was a reporter, producer, when I became news director, I just so respected the legacy and all of the work that people had done before I arrived that my biggest concern was I don't want to let the legacy down. And so I think that's always our guiding star as we're moving forward in the future. News happens, journalists document it, and the public reads, watches, or listens to the ensuing report. Our news director, Beth Jensen, says we'll find a way to connect people to what's happening. The community is always going to need local news, local weather, local sports. So we'll pivot. We'll figure out how to get that information to people. If they want to watch it on their phones, on their TVs, however they want to get that information, that's our goal. And we'll do that to serve our viewers the best we can. How that information is delivered, of course, has changed dramatically over these seven decades. The Internet and social media have transformed how people consume news. We've always had a large digital presence um, since the website launched in 1997. You know, like we were an early adapter to that. And so that's something that I do see continuing on is trying to be early adapters of what's coming next and where the people are. Digital coverage, whether that be on our website, app, or via social media, is already a massive part of what we do here. Digital content manager Karen Sherman says digital coverage will only become more prominent. I think it grows, as it has tremendously in the past few years. In previous decades, you had to be in front of, or at least within earshot of a television set to receive our coverage. Now in 2023, that reception can, and indeed should, happen anywhere. That's something I appreciate about digital, is that it brings the news to where the people are. How we see our website has changed since its launch in the late 90s. I've seen all the ways we have pivoted over the past two decades. And, you know, when the Internet first came out, there was a real reluctance to post your story online. After all, we didn't want the newscasts to lose their prominence. It was such a culture of, like, save everything for 5 o'clock, save everything for 6 o'clock. Like, we want to surprise the viewer when they tune into the newscast. Well, that doesn't work. The viewer doesn't want that. And so we'd have to say, listen, if you have the information, let's put it out now. The deadline right now. Before, you know, everybody's working for their five, six, or ten story. And now it's if something's happening and developing, we need to know what that is so we can get something online. And then we will continue to grow and um, add to the story throughout the day. It's a similar trajectory for our overall story as a news outlet. We'll continue to grow and add to it always be the leader, the market leader. That's who we are and that's what we do. Vice President and General Manager Mary Ossenfort says consistency is part of our future too. We'll always stay true to who we are, long tradition, appreciate everything that everybody has done before, and we'll just keep moving forward. What's next for Kelloland Media Group? I don't think the people that founded the station had any clue or idea of what it would develop into or what it's grown into or become. I think that, um, like I mentioned with the website, being early adapters, looking to innovate, continuing to push ourselves, I think that will continue um, for the years to come. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. Thank you for sticking with us for 70 years. Our 70th anniversary special is next weekend. It airs Friday the 19th at 9 p.m. Central Time on Kello Extra, then Saturday at 7 Central on Kello TV, and again on Sunday on Kello Extra.